Attention deficit disorder or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder are medical terms for really a, a fascinating kind of mind. I don't see it so much as a disorder as a trait. Uh, because there are many positives that are associated with it. Creativity, energy, originality, ability to think outside the box. And then there's the downside. Uh, uh, trouble sustaining focus, particularly if you're not interested. Trouble getting organized. Tendency to procrastinate. Uh, tendency to have many projects going simultaneously. Trouble with follow through. Tendency to be impatient, easily frustrated. Tendency to underachieve, to not uh, reach your potential. Uh, and, and it's frustrating because you don't, you don't understand why. And that's why making this diagnosis can be so transforming. Once you understand why, then you're able to get the right pair of eyeglasses, as I like to put it, uh, so that you can go from underachieving, feeling frustrated, uh, to really thriving. And, and that's uh, uh, what, what I, I, I see working with folks with ADD, not so much as treating a disability, as developing their talents because their talents are tremendous. Another analogy I use, it, it, having ADD is sort of like having a Ferrari engine for a brain, you know, an incredibly powerful brain, a, a race car for a brain, only you have bicycle brakes, so you can't stop when you need to, you can't slow down when you need to, you, you can't see the turns in the road when you need to. And so unless you strengthen those brakes, you can crash uh, and not win the race. But if you do strengthen those brakes, then you can become a, a champion. And, and that's, a, I see ADD as sort of people, children and adults alike, as, as champions in the making. Uh, it takes some work to strengthen those brakes. But if you do, uh, then the outcome can be absolutely tremendous. Back in the early 1990s, uh, my friend John Rady and I were both uh, young psychiatrists and we were seeing a lot of ADD in children and in adults and we realized that it was vastly misunderstood. There really wasn't a good book out there for the lay public and uh, because I love to write. Uh, John and I decided to brainstorm for a while and then, and then uh, produce the book Driven to Distraction, which came out in 1994. And it, it really had an impact because people could suddenly see how common this trait is, how common this condition is. And, and the book uh, has now sold over two million copies uh, because people are eager to learn about it because when they understand it, they can really change their lives for the better. It's a, it's a good news diagnosis in that when you know you have it, you can, you can make a big difference in your life. And if you don't know you have it, you can get into all kinds of trouble. People often think of attention deficit disorder as, as bad news. If, if your child or you are diagnosed with this condition, it means you're on your way to jail or, or a life of failure. Uh, undiagnosed and untreated, that can be true. The prisons are full of people with undiagnosed, untreated ADD. But if you make the diagnosis and you get treated, you can absolutely change your life dramatically for the better so that you can become a champion, a winner. Uh, uh, the, the, the many CEOs, David Nealman, the CEO of JetBlue Airlines, for example, Clyde Anderson, the CEO of Books A Million, uh, many people in Hollywood, uh, 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 many uh, uh, inventors, I, I have several brain surgeons who are patients, uh, uh, Michael Phelps, the, the great the Olympic swimmer, uh, athletes, uh, any, any kind of profession you can imagine, Nobel Prize winners, all of these folks have ADD. So, so it need not be a curse. It can be if you don't diagnose and treat it. But if you diagnose and treat it, not only can you live a, quote, normal life, you can live the life of a champion, a winner, a really happy, fulfilled person. Uh, that's why it's so crucial to make the diagnosis and get the right treatment. I've been treating ADD in children and adults for over 25 years and probably the most important lesson I've learned is that the best outcome 
uh, depends upon taking what I call a strength-based approach. It depends upon first and foremost looking for these children's or adults interests, talents, potential interests, potential talents, finding out the positive. And sometimes they don't even know themselves what they've got positive. Because when you begin with the positive, it's so much easier to start working on the negative because you bring into the equation hope, enthusiasm, excitement, interest. If you only look at the negative, you, if you only look at what's wrong, you expel those. People don't want to work on what's wrong unless they have something positive that they're trying to work toward. And the old way of doing it, the disability model, really creates, in my opinion, what are the most profound disabilities, which are shame and fear and loss of hope and broken dreams and lowered expectations. That's what holds people back in life. So, so I think you got first and foremost to instill hope, realistic hope, based on fact. And, and then you say, okay, now we're going we're gonna to build on the positive. As I began working with children and adults with ADD in the, in the 1980s and 1990s, I realized my take on it uh, departed from uh, uh, a lot of the traditional thinking that saw these conditions as uh, abject disabilities, terrible disorders. Uh, while I knew there was certainly many problems that could uh, complicate the life of someone with ADD, I also was discovering that the best outcome depended upon finding the positive in, in the negative. In other words, in this amalgam, this mixture of strengths and weaknesses. By finding the strengths, I was getting much better results than simply by zeroing in on, on the negatives. And so I, I decided to uh, start some centers that specialized in, in taking that approach and recruited clinicians to work with me and, and have been doing it ever since. Uh, I, it, it's, it's wonderful. I often feel like an obstetrician as if I'm delivering new babies, delivering new life. Because when you get a handle on this diagnosis and when you do it in a context of positive energy, uh, the, the transformation is just magnificent. The people, people really go from, often what I say, driving on square wheels to speeding along on round wheels to uh, realizing their potential. And, and, and the inspiration for my starting these Hallowell Centers uh, uh, was simply that. that I What makes the Hallowell Center distinctive and, and, and different from other mental health clinics is several factors. Uh, first of all, and most important, we believe in connecting with the individual person, couple, family. Uh, we, we see people first and foremost as individuals, not as diagnoses, not, not as uh, you know, numbered entities. We really believe in the variety of human nature. And we want to get to know people. We want to make a real relationship. We want to have fun with them. Uh, so we try to have uh, our, our center uh, as upbeat, uh, not in a silly way, but in a, in, a, in a solid way, as upbeat, welcoming, warm as possible where you can come and feel understood or feel that your child is understood, where you are listened to, where you leave feeling, okay, they get it. They understand. They understand the struggle and they understand the virtues. They understand the sadness and they understand the joy. And they know how to promote and develop the joy. So that, that's the most important feature that distinguishes us or that we believe in. I'm, I'm sure there are other places that are like that, but we, we, we want very passionately uh, to make our place a place of genuine connection. I think the other distinctive feature is that we try to bring under one roof all that you need to diagnose and treat ADD in children, adults, couples, and families. So we, in one place, uh, can give therapy, uh, can do testing, can provide alternative treatments like neurofeedback, like cerebellar exercise stimulation, like CogMed computer uh, uh, a game that uh, improves active working memory, nutritional consultation. We can provide group therapy, family therapy, couples therapy, individual therapy, all in one setting. So you don't have to go all over town, all over, all over the state uh, getting what you need.